I'm gonna shoot the target, dude. Oh, thanks, dude. What's up guys, it's Austin with Leadworthy and today we're doing a 1500 round review on the Springfield Echelon. Clear? So, round count. I put about 1500 to 1550 rounds through this. It malfunctioned three times. One of those was on me. I was doing a how to shoot and on the do not portion, I gripped real low on the beaver tail. I pulled the trigger in slow-mo and it still piped. That's me. The first malfunction, happened around the 600 round mark and it was just failure to feed. I think it was a double feed. And the second one was around the 13, 1400 round mark and it was just failure to extract. I haven't cleaned this pistol at all. I like this pistol a lot. Other than two things, and it's the same two things that have been in my first video. The slide release is still super stiff. It's a little lighter than what it was beforehand, but 1500 rounds should have broke this thing in no problem still super stiff next is the stippling i cannot tell you how dog shit this stippling is i'm in texas it's about 105 degrees average every day for the last two months as soon as you get wet or the pistol gets wet be it rain or sweat it has better things to do than being in your hand it doesn't matter how hard you grip it doesn't matter how hard you vice it does not matter i've had four different people shoot this gun while we're all sweaty and everything they all said the same thing, so I know it's not just me. The slide release, though, I have to be fair. I work in an FFL. The slide release, I've had five different echelons in my hand, so six total. Out of the six, two of them had super stiff slide releases. The other remaining four, butter. It pisses me off <laughs> that I got one of these versus one of those, because it's literally a doop, and it's gone. I was like, wow, that's crazy. Well, I'm sitting here denting my thumb, actively trying to release the slide. But, you know, it's luck of the draw. The U dot sight, I was not a fan of, was not looking forward to shooting. Around 500 rounds, I got really comfortable with it. Quick sight acquisition, accuracy. Where it shined though, was teaching my five-year-old how to shoot and my in-laws from Oregon. I, I give them a normal pistol, say a Glock, and the three dot equal height, equal sight, just kind of confused them and it's a lot to process. But I say, just drop the, the ball in the hole and make sure they're even. And they shot perfectly fine from a five-year-old all the way to someone who's never shot a gun before, been in Oregon for over 50 years. This pistol was a great training tool. I loved it for that. It shoots super flat. It's super fun to shoot. But the second you're sweaty, it's not, not reliable at all. As far as battle pistol, would I recommend this to be a battle pistol or an EDC? No, I would not. The reason being is everyday carry means you have everyday problems. Anything can happen. And this pistol was just underwhelmingly ass with the grip. When I think of a battle pistol, I think of it has to protect you. It has to protect your family. It has to protect your friends. Your lives are literally on the line. And if I know what I know about this pistol and something's happening, I'm grabbing a Glock, I'm grabbing a Sig, I'm grabbing a Kimber. I'm grabbing anything other than this pistol only because the second my heart rate's elevated and my palms get sweaty or anything, I now have another factor I have to fight. And I cannot in whole confidence say like, this would perform how I need it to. A battle pistol is if I do everything right, I expect this to work and it doesn't. It just breaks my heart because I really like this pistol. I really like the training aspect of the U dot sight. I really like the modularity. Uh, the mag release is super tactile on both ends. I love that. The mag, I dropped it a couple times during uh, mag changes. This plate came off a couple times, but it's super easy to slide back on. I haven't had an issue in 400 rounds. All right, let's take this thing apart and show you how dirty it is after 15, 1550 rounds. All right, it's ready to take apart. Super dirty. Using a sleeve. Absolutely filthy. And 
just like that, it's a wrap. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. And if you've had a different experience, please tell me down in the comments. I look forward to talking to you guys.